Hello and welcome to the 15th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at drop down disabled menu items. We'll be using the source code from the 11th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a drop down setup. You can also disable certain menu items. This could be used in a real life, uh, for example, if the button is only available for members and they haven't signed in, but you still want to display it, so it's sort of trying to entice them. Maybe it's a cool page or a cool feature that you want them to know about it, but they can't use it unless they're signed in, so you could, well, disable it. Uh, okay, to implement this, it's extremely simple. You just need to add the class disabled to one of your drop down menu items. So let's go ahead and open up our index.html in our text editor. If we scroll down, right here we have our menu items, these four right here. And all you need to do, so I want to disable, um, let's say contact, uh, contact us. For some reason you can't contact us unless you're signed in. Then we put disabled, save it. And now if we just run this in our web browser, and what we have is click me to reveal more so when I click it this one is disabled so when I hover over it as you can see there is a little circle with a line through it which indicates this can't be clicked but the others can we're just going to go back to our text editor you can apply this to as many items as you want so I'm going to apply it to this one as well so the home page refresh Hate when that happens. So sometimes you just need to. Uh, sorry, my bad. Sometimes you just need to reopen it. So when you click me to reveal more, contact us, and home page are both well disabled. So it is really that important to disable menu items. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at button groups. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. Comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. To check out hundreds of more videos like this one, for free, check out sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.